how much Djokovic actually earned in his career. When it comes to professional tennis, the name Novak Djokovic rings loud and clear in the halls of greatness. With an astounding 23 Grand Slam singles titles and a record 38 ATP Masters 1000 titles, this Serbian powerhouse has proved time and again that he's a force to be reckoned with on the court. But let's talk about how much money he has earned throughout his career. Let's get started. Early life. On May 22, 1987, in the vibrant city of Belgrade, Novak Djokovic was born into a tennis-loving family. His parents, Serjan Djokovic and Diana Zagar, provided the foundation for his journey to greatness. At age six, Novak's passion for tennis ignited when he witnessed tennis courts being built near his parents' pizzeria in the scenic ski resort of Kapanik. Mesmerized, he would often position himself in front of the court fence, watching the training sessions with wide-eyed enthusiasm. It was during this time that he caught the attention of Jelena Djendzic, a former professional tennis player and the discoverer of Monica Seles' talent. Recognizing Novak's potential as a child prodigy, Djendzic became his coach for the first five years of his tennis journey. She saw his raw talent and convinced his parents to nurture and support his promising skills. Novak fondly acknowledges the impact Djendzic had on his development, expressing gratitude for the invaluable lessons she imparted. Under her guidance, he adopted the two-handed backhand, a departure from his childhood idol Pete Sampras's one-handed style. Even amidst the turbulent times of NATO's bombing of Belgrade during the war in Yugoslavia, Novak remained resolute in his dedication to the sport. His commitment to training never wavered, displaying a determination that would become a hallmark of his career. Novak Djokovic turned pro in 2003, but he didn't make his first Grand Slam appearance until 2005 after qualifying for the Australian Open. Since then, he has gone on to make his mark in the sport. His lucrative career. Novak Djokovic's impressive record of 94 ATP singles titles speaks volumes about his talent and dominance on the tennis court. His exceptional skills have not only earned him substantial earnings from performances, but also lucrative endorsement deals, making him one of the highest paid athletes worldwide. With a net worth estimated at $230 million, Djokovic's success extends beyond the sport. His business acumen and endorsement deals have contributed significantly to his wealth, with numerous renowned brands recognizing his global appeal. These partnerships have propelled his net worth to astonishing heights. Moreover, Djokovic's success has made him an icon in Serbia, inspiring aspiring athletes and fans alike. His achievements serve as motivation for the next generation of Serbian talent to pursue their dreams with unwavering determination. Djokovic has raked in more prize money than any other player in tennis history. This guy knows how to bring home the bacon. When he clinched the Wimbledon title in 2019, his career earnings soared to a mind-boggling $133 million, surpassing the previous record held by the man he defeated, who had earned a lifetime sum of $124 million. That must have been a sweet victory for Djokovic. And Djokovic's bank account only continued to grow from there. By July 2021, his career earnings had surpassed the $150 million mark. And just recently, in 2023, his on-court winnings hit an astonishing $170 million. That's a whole lot of zeros. What's truly remarkable about Djokovic is his consistency. This guy rarely bows out early in tournaments, which means he's cashing in even when he doesn't take home the trophy. He's made it to the semifinals of Grand Slam events a whopping 45 times, and he's had an incredible streak of reaching at least the quarterfinals in 23 consecutive Grand Slam tournaments from 2009 to 2016. But let's not forget about the cherry on top. In 2011, Djokovic set a new record for the highest single-season prize money haul, pocketing a cool $12 million. That's a whole bag of loot. And while Djokovic may not be playing solely for the money, his latest triumph at the French Open secured him another hefty sum. With his record-breaking 23rd Grand Slam title, he added nearly $2.6 million to his already bulging bank account. 
While Novak Djokovic holds the record for the highest total career prize money in men's tennis, he isn't leading the 2023 chart. According to the official ATP data, the current prize money leader for 2023 is Daniil Medvedev, who has earned an impressive $4.74 million in this year's tournaments. Carlos Alcaraz takes the second spot with $3.71 million, followed by Stefanos Tsitsipas with $2.83 million. Despite his recent win of $2.6 million for his 23rd Grand Slam title, Djokovic finds himself in fourth place in terms of earnings in 2023. Andrei Rublev completes the top five list with $2.42 million. When it comes to earnings, Djokovic towers above his rivals. His career prize money of $170 million outshines every other tennis player out there. Rafael Nadal, his closest competitor, falls short by a cool $35 million. Even the legendary Roger Federer, who bid farewell to the sport not long ago, amassed $130.6 million in his career. Djokovic is simply in a league of his own. But it's not just the men who are making bank in tennis. In fact, half of the top 10 highest earners in the sport are women. The likes of Serena and Venus Williams, Simona Halep, Maria Sharapova, and Petra Kvitova have all made their mark both on the court and in their bank accounts. His other wealth sources. When you reach the pinnacle of tennis like Novak Djokovic, endorsement opportunities start knocking at your door. While he may not be as marketable as his fellow players, Federer and Nadal, Djokovic has still managed to secure some pretty sweet deals and make a tidy sum of money. Let's talk about his racket sponsors. Novak Djokovic has been loyal to Head as his racket sponsor for the majority of his professional career, although he briefly experimented with Wilson in the early stages since 2009, Djokovic has relied on rackets provided by Head. Specifically, he consistently plays with a pro stock frame known as the Head PT113B. To keep up with the latest designs, Head applies different paint jobs to the PT113B, allowing Djokovic to visually showcase the new racket while preserving the performance and familiarity he trusts. As the brand ambassador for Head, Djokovic pockets several million dollars each year from his contract and bonuses. While he doesn't have a lifetime deal with them, it seems like their partnership is going strong. I mean, as long as he keeps winning, they'll be more than happy to renew that contract. Now, when it comes to clothing sponsors, Djokovic has had a bit of a shuffle throughout his career. He's jumped from Adidas to Sergio Tacchini, then to Uniqlo, and currently he's rocking the threads from Lacoste. But here's the funny thing. Lacoste doesn't make performance-level tennis shoes, so Djokovic has struck a deal with Asics for his fancy footwork on the court. Despite his success on the court, Djokovic has never really turned into a huge influencer with clothing. Part of it might have to do with bouncing around with sponsorship deals, but finding his gear is sometimes pretty difficult online and in stores. Moving on to other endorsement deals, Djokovic has a bunch of them in his bag. Companies like Mercedes-Benz, Learjet, Seiko, and Fitline have all jumped on the Djokovic bandwagon. Plus, he's got smaller deals with Serbian-based companies that may not have the global reach, but still contribute to his bank account. Djokovic hasn't taken on an overwhelming number of endorsement deals off the court just yet, and he seems pretty chill about it at the moment. He's not spreading himself too thin just yet, but hey, who knows what the future holds? One thing that definitely adds to Djokovic's marketability is his multilingual skills. He can speak fluently in multiple languages, which makes him a hit with audiences around the world. No language barriers here. And his sense of humor? Well, it might be a little tough for some fans to decipher at times, but hey, we all appreciate a good laugh, right? Now let's dive into Djokovic's other wealth contributors. The guy has made so much money in his career that he started exploring various investments. His family is involved in running their business ventures through an entity called Family Sport. They even made a big splash in 2009 by purchasing the ATP tour date of the Dutch Open and then replace it with the Serbia Open held in Belgrade. And hey, the Djokovic family has a background in restaurants, so it's no surprise that they've dabbled in food-related ventures. When Djokovic hangs up his tennis shoes for good, you can bet he'll be channeling his energy into expanding these business ventures. So how does Djokovic spend his money? 
Novak Djokovic isn't just focused on dominating the tennis court and accumulating wealth, he also knows how to make smart investments in real estate. This tennis legend has a portfolio of lavish properties that rival his impressive career earnings. From humble beginnings to global success, Djokovic has ventured into real estate across different countries. His property portfolio includes two exquisite apartments in the trendy Soho neighborhood of Manhattan, New York City. These apartments offer a taste of luxury living in the heart of the bustling metropolis. But Djokovic's real estate ventures don't stop there. He also owns a magnificent hillside property in Monte Carlo, a place that offers breathtaking views of the vast Mediterranean Sea. Imagine waking up to the sound of gentle waves and panoramic vistas every morning. Additionally, he has an apartment in Belgrade, his hometown, which he purchased for approximately $675,000. This property allows him to stay connected to his roots while enjoying the comforts of a lavish dwelling. These properties boast spacious living areas, extravagant bedrooms, and stylish terraces that showcase Djokovic's impeccable taste and desire for luxury. It's clear that he knows how to indulge in the finer things in life, but Djokovic's investments extend beyond real estate. He also possesses an impressive car collection that matches his extravagant lifestyle. Among his prized possessions are a Peugeot E208 and a Peugeot RCZ, showcasing his appreciation for stylish yet environmentally friendly vehicles. In addition, he owns a Bentley Continental GT worth around $200,000, a Mercedes-Benz S-Class, an Aston Martin DB9 Volante, an Audi R8, a Tesla Model X, and a unique Bentley GT Coupe. These luxury cars reflect his passion for exceptional automotive craftsmanship. However, Djokovic's pursuits aren't solely focused on material possessions. He also demonstrates a noble commitment to giving back to society. Through the Novak Djokovic Foundation, he strives to provide quality preschool education to every child, ensuring they have a solid foundation for a brighter future. Additionally, Djokovic has contributed substantially to various charitable causes in Serbia, including donating a generous sum of $1,061,490 for COVID relief in 2021. His philanthropic endeavors reflect his dedication to making a positive impact on his community and beyond. But what lies beyond his tennis career? Well, Djokovic will have a substantial fortune to work with thanks to his smart financial choices and lucrative endorsement deals. He'll have the opportunity to explore a myriad of business ventures and investments. As long as he remains prudent, there is no doubt that his wealth will continue to flourish. Furthermore, Djokovic could potentially venture into the world of commentating. His charismatic persona and ability to entertain in interviews hint at a future career in broadcasting. Of course, with the substantial earnings he's accumulating, it would take a pretty enticing offer to sway him towards the commentator's booth. But who knows? The allure of sharing his insights and engaging with fans on a different level might just prove irresistible. How many more titles do you think Djokovic will win before he retires? Let us know in the comments section below. That will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can always get to watch more amazing videos like this. See you in the next video.